Demons, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, I thought it was about time that we did another favorites video. I've been enjoying quite a lot of things over the last few months. I am trying to do these every season, so I guess you could call this my winter favorites, and it's the things that I've really been enjoying over December, January, a little bit of February. But yeah, as per usual, I love to hear your favorites, so be sure to join in and leave a comment down below letting me know what you've been enjoying because most of the time they end up being recommendations to me and all of you guys so definitely go check the comments if you want to have a little nose but without further ado if you're brand new to this channel hello welcome don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's go because I've been enjoying a lot of things a lot of things over the last few months so let's start with my Wizarding World favourites and I do actually have a few of these this month. I have treated myself to some nice things. I thought I would kick it off with some artwork that I bought for my new office which is downstairs now. Now just keep in mind I bought the wrong frames. I went all the way to Ikea to get these very specific frames. I bought the wrong size so I have to go back. But either way they still fit. I just wanted ones with a mount but it doesn't take away from how beautiful this artwork is. So here is one of them. This is the premium Mina Lima and I treat yourself. This is a history of magic. There are only 200 and 50 of these worldwide. These are hand gold foiled. Like, can you see that foiling? Like, oh, it's very beautiful. These are also signed by Eduardo and Mirafora, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so this is to go into my new office and I am obsessed. This was a treat yourself. You've moved into a new office. You're a big girl now. You live solo. Mina Lima prints are so beautiful. I definitely have a collection going now. I think I have about five of them. They're not all premium. I think about three of them are. But let's talk about the other one that I got. Now this one, is lush. So this is one of the just standard prints. So there are only a thousand of these in the world. These are a lot cheaper if you don't go premium. But I just thought this was so beautiful. These are all the really intricate kind of memory vial labels. So there's one here that says orphanage. There's a sorting hat one. Tom Riddle. Like they're all so so pretty. And I just thought these are perfect for the office to go with my time turner one as well but yeah i absolutely love all of these labels i think they're so pretty the way these come packaged by the way they're like in a little scroll and outpost very well packaged as well which you'd hope for such high quality prints but yeah i am gonna get frames that are a little bit bigger so that i can fit a mount inside and i'll use these frames elsewhere these are the ribber frames from Ikea in oak. So there we have it, some new Wizarding World artwork in my collection. Now other things that I've been loving from the Wizarding World, I treated myself to some new things for the shelves. One of them is actually here and these are by a company called Department 56 and they make these kind of replicas. So I have one here, I'm not going to take this one off the shelf but I did get a Weasley's Wizards Weasleys one and you can actually light these up and plug them in but this one here is Gringotts Bank and I got this one for my Gringotts shelf which you can't see at the moment it's up there but this one I thought was lush now originally I just bought this one and then I was like I need to get myself this dragon because how could I not get the dragon to go on top I didn't actually realize that you do buy them separately but yeah they do fit on together like so and I just think that's so cool and I got really Really lucky because this just fits on one of my shelves like the shelf top is about here but yes you can see on the bottom that there is a space for a bulb and the bulbs do come with this I've actually just left mine in the box for now because I haven't got the time to wire it into my shelves just yet but in the future these will light up and all the windows and everything and same for the Weasley's Wizards Weasley's one over there but I just thought this was so nice and they definitely do others but I think the Gringotts one and the Weasleys Wizards Wheezies were my two favorites which I was like oh, I need them and I actually signed up to be alerted to see when these were back in stock if you do get these make sure you check which plug sockets are 
on them because there's EU ones and there's also UK ones I think so I've obviously waited for the UK one but there we have it so there's a new replica that I thought you guys might be interested in um, again these aren't the cheapest <laughs> I'm definitely trying to only buy things that I really want in my collection these days because I've got a big collection I'm, I'm not one of these people that will just buy everything just because it says Harry Potter I'm very very particular and this was something that was on my list for quite a while so yeah there we have it Gringotts Wizarding Bank my next favorite is a clothing piece that I bought last month these are brand new to the Harry Potter shops and this is a Molly Weasley jumper they now make them with every letter of the alphabet so of course I had to get one with a C on it. The only thing I wish that they did was that you could pick which colour you got. So they did a blue one um, in C as well, but I think they just do the red ones in C. It would be good if they did multiple like you get to choose but yes this is great I got mine in a size medium so it's a nice oversized fit for me and yeah great quality it came pretty quickly considering I think it might have been a pre-order I'm not sure I can't remember but either way I actually <laughs> I actually had a Ronald jumper and I shrunk it I actually had, no no I didn't I had a Harry jumper and I shrunk it so I've also recently repurchased the Harry one the blue one but yeah so this is the size that a medium should be and I, I was just looking in the mirror with my Harry one on going I swear this used to be bigger it did if you do get your hands on one of these make sure that you hand wash or get it dry cleaned only because these do not like washing machines uh, it doesn't matter even if you put it on a cold wash they tend not to like like being washed so I think with these and my Lockhaven cardigans which I also had to buy new ones of I am only gonna take these to the dry cleaner I just don't trust myself with nice garments yeah so I hope you guys like that I thought I would um, let you guys know about it in case you didn't know that these were available because they're quite new but a little bit of fun so I'm definitely gonna be saving that for next winter I have worn it a few times now but it's definitely a winter garment now the next thing we're gonna be moving on to books now but the first one is still Wizarding World so it's still within the Wizarding World theme. I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask where I got this from and I'm not gonna say because I don't know if the maker wants it this public but if you're good at googling you'll be able to find the maker but I got this recently and I have wanted a copy of Rita Skeeter's The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore and this is movie accurate. We've even got Rita on the back. Um, it's also a full book, which is insane. Granted, I will say that it's a full book with quite large, um, ooh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, it's got quite large and spaced out font, but it is a fully readable book. Um, we've got, we've got old Dumbledore himself in there, Albus Percival, Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. But look at this cover, we've got this kind of um, holographic Rita Skeeter, like it's just beautifully made. This is the spine of the book as well, it's just absolutely stunning. So I've actually made myself a little Flourish and Blots shelf, it's over there and I've got the Rita Skeeter pen as well. I just think this is so, so cool, it's absolutely beautiful. Here's the little title page inside, uh, Daily Profit Press. Like this wasn't cheap, I think I paid around £120. For this book, I know that's a lot of money for a book, but they're all specially made and there it is. Now this came in a very beautiful envelope which was gold foiled and it said flourish and blots on it. And then inside was this note here <laughs> and it says, Dear Batty, thanks for your help. You said everything, even if you don't remember Rita. I just thought that was a really nice little addition to the book but yeah so this is very very cool as I said I'm really sorry I know it's probably annoying me not telling you where I got this from but I don't think the maker wants it advertised to this many people but just know that these are out there on the internet somewhere and I really love it and it's a very special piece I love fan made books like advanced potion making I've got defense against the dark arts somewhere as well and 
and this is just a perfect addition as well I really really do like it a lot just look at that on the spine like I don't know if it shows like how the light kind of catches on Rita's name but very cool indeed big fan of that and have been enjoying it I need to actually read it to be fair now speaking of books I do have a few other book favorites this month Ooh, I've actually got a book due as well but obviously that's not gonna be a favorite because it's not arrived yet the first one <laughs> is this this is huge this is the animal crossing official companion guide by future press if you guys love animal crossing as much as I do then this might be the book for you or if you have any friends that are really into animal crossing this might be the perfect gift this is a guide of everything so you can see like all of the items that you can get. I'm wondering if they're gonna make like an updated version of this since the update 2.0 has come out. But it's really, really cool and it gives you loads of tips and tricks and loads of help helpful things. Like even here, you can actually see it comes with a really cute bookmark. And um, it shows you how to do all of the kind of flower crossbreeding and that kind of stuff. It's just a really in-depth book of loads of things that you should know or need to know if you are really into Animal Crossing. Now, I know that I'm just like, yeah, Animal Crossing, I've left my villagers for over two weeks now. There's gonna be so many weeds. I will do an Animal Crossing Island tour at some point because I have got all the villagers that I dream of now, except a couple, but I'm really close to having a full set of my dream villagers. So yeah, I do recommend this. I think I got this from the book depository website, but you can get this probably on Amazon now, to be fair. But it's a really lovely book. Look, it even shows you all the postcards that you can get to send your friends and stuff and all of the music that's available very very cool indeed um also in the back of it which you might like <laughs> is a double-sided poster so this is one side oh it's it's very large <laughs> so that's that and then this which i really like which i'd be tempted to frame is a poster of all the bugs, fish, and sea creatures that you can catch. I think it's all of them. Yeah, but how beautiful is that? It's like something that Blathers would gift to you. I know that he can give you posters now, but I am tempted to like actually frame that and put it in like my living room or something. I just think it's so nice. This cost me, I think, £24.99 when I pre-ordered it, but you can probably get it for cheaper now. Now, I started a new hobby at Christmas. Granted, since I started work again, I've not had too much time to continue with it, but I have been really enjoying it. I bought two books. They're on the same thing. I'm just going to show you these together. So we've got the knitting book and it's got over 250 step-by-step -step techniques. And I also got quite a few of you guys actually recommended this to me. This is a little course in knitting and I got this from World of Books on eBay. Hence why it's got a little book bandage over a price sticker. So it probably is a used book, but it's in beautiful condition and it just shows you like how to cast on like all the basics of knitting i can't wait to carry on i made a scarf guys it took me four days from learning how to do it to completing it four full days i'm really proud of it i'll show you in a minute but if you guys want to start knitting youtube tutorials and these books i think would be a great place to start i will just show you a little bit inside of this book so yeah there we have it, it shows you how to do like circular knitting different types of color work all sorts of stuff even edging patterns and things like there's just so much to learn and I'm very excited I want to start my second scarf soon and I mean whilst we're talking about knitting I may as well show you what I bought for my new hobby so this is definitely a favorite guys look she's a professional knitter yeah I bought myself this knitting bag I just got it from Amazon I think this filled me with way too much joy it's still got the label on it but I have been using it so so let me show you this bag in case you're very excited about knitting like me. So when we open the front pouch, this is where you can keep all of your knitting needles. Oh, that's my crochet hook that has just fallen out. But yeah, so I started with a few basic sizes down here. These are all of my little knitting accessories in here. Um, <laughs> again, very excited. I did get some of these little 
silicon thimbles because my finger was really hurting when I started and I got all sorts of bits and bobs. I got some knitters needles. These are really good if you want to thread in loose ends. Um, check this out. I will show you these two because these are quite exciting. I got myself some little knitting scissors that looks like a stalk. How adorable are those? Again, just Amazon. And then this, I think, is the coolest thing ever. This was the last one. All of this, by the way, most of it is either Amazon or Hobby craft i got this from hobby craft this is like a little knitter's friend this is a yarn cutter so you can see inside there's like little blades you literally just get a piece of yarn and put it through one of these gaps and it will cut the yarn for you really really useful pretty inexpensive as well which is pretty cool so yes that's the first little pouch now let me show you my scarf that i knitted it's not perfect but we just call it character, okay? So this is the first scarf. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. Look at all of my yarn that I have to play with. This bag has like these little loops in so that you can pull your yarn through and keep your current project in the top. I just think that's so cool. But yes, this is the scarf that I made. I even put tassels on the end. Have I worn it yet? Yeah. No, I haven't. I ought to. But yes, this is my first ever scarf. Like, how cool is that? I made a thing. It took hours, but how cute. But yeah, as I said, it's not perfect. But for a first go, I am rather proud of myself. I would love to know if any of you guys have tried knitting before, or maybe you want to take up knitting. I would love to know what hobbies you do, but this is one that I decided to take up at Christmas, just because I was quite inspired by my brother's girlfriend that was just knitting away at Christmas. I was like, that looks really relaxing. And I tell you what, it is. And it's quite satisfying once you've made something. So there we have it, my knitting bag. So we're on to like miscellaneous things now. This is something that I bought that just fills me with joy. I don't know if I've shown you guys this. This is my Nintendo Switch hard case. So I have the Nintendo Switch OLED and I really wanted a little carry case for it. Found this on Amazon. It's really, really cute. It's got the little Animal Crossing leafies all over it. And inside, you've just got like a nice little plush thing to screen protect. And also somewhere to keep your little game cards. So yeah, this hard case is so cute. I think if you're going to be taking this places, you don't just want to put it in a bag. I was definitely doing that for a little while and I was just terrified of like breaking it. So definitely get yourself a little case if you have a gaming console like that. That one just filled me with so much joy. Okay, the next one is so random. You guys are gonna be like, Cherry, why are you showing us all your socks? Welcome to my sock collection. <laughs> The socks are not the favourite. The actual favourite is what the socks are in. I bought some underwear organisers. This has changed my underwear drawers life. I bought a sock one, which is the one I'm showing you right now. There's also one for bras and pants, and then there was another one as well. This has just changed my life because my underwear drawer was chaos. There were socks just thrown in, pants thrown, everything was all mixed up. It was really full. Sometimes it was getting a struggle to shut my drawer, and it was just honestly a drawer full of chaotic stress just lots of messy underwear i love organizing so i found these they're on amazon i'll of course link everything down below that i spoke about today they're just like these little squares there's a square that you can fill with socks so i put two pairs per square in i start with my like trainer socks my everyday socks pattern socks and then hiking and walking socks and i've got snuggly socks in the drawer i just thought if you guys are obsessed with like organizing, you guys might like this, but this is absolutely a favorite. I really enjoyed going through my entire bedroom and chest of drawers, just getting rid of stuff. That's a favorite. I had a huge clear out. I can't recommend it enough. If you're feeling stressed or you feel like you've got too much stuff, take a week out if you can and write a master list of everything that you want to clear out. Maybe I'll do an organizational video at some point, but I always write a master list. So each room, each thing that needs sorting, so like wardrobe, chest of drawers, bedside table, vanity table, whatever, and just go through every single item. Like it is a task. You need to go through every single item that you own in that particular room and either sell it, donate it, or keep it. But like, just be ruthless. I'm pretty ruthless. I do one of these clear outs every January. And this just made me very happy this January when I was doing it. I've never really mastered the organization of my underwear drawer until I bought these. And again, they weren't that expensive. They came in a set, they come flat, and then you just pop them up 
put your socks in, you're winning. So there we have it. Very random favourite indeed, but thought you guys might enjoy it. Let's talk about some fashion favourites. I have bought a couple of new pieces of clothing over the last couple of months. I'm going to start with my coat. So many of you guys have probably seen this on Instagram. It's the coat I've just been wearing everywhere. It's got little buttons. It's got a little lapel. It's got massive pockets, but it's this like teddy material. And I can't tell you how warm and snugly and comfortable this coat is. I got it from Marks and Spencers. If I'm recalling correctly, I think it was about £60, maybe £65. But best purchase, I haven't bought a coat in a long while. And you know, you need a good coat, especially in England in the winter. But I just really like it. And I, I think I saw it and I was like, yes that coat is lush and then I left the shop without it and I couldn't stop thinking about it for weeks and then I went back to Marks and Spencers with my mum and I was like you know what I'm gonna treat myself I can't stop thinking about it this coat needs to be mine and honestly one of the best coats that I've ever bought it's just oh it's just so comfortable there it is and it's got two little buttons at the front. I thought you might like it. I know a lot of you guys ask where it's from. The next thing, you know what? This is twice this year that I have been sucked in by an Instagram ad. Like, they know me well. They target me extremely well. I <laughs> could not resist this. This is by a company called Elf I Alfric Eden. There's the label. There it is. It kept coming up as like an ad on stories. I kept looking at their website. I kept going on there. They got some really cool stuff. This kept catching my eye. I was like, that looks so snuggly. So I bought it. I did. I treated myself. It's this big teddy bear hoodie. It's just... <laughs> It's heavenly. The only thing I will mention is when I got it, I did expect the lining to also be teddy. I don't know why, but I did expect it to be. But it's this kind of like silky, silky material, which it's definitely a bit more slidey than I'd hoped but it is comfortable. The only downside is its pockets. The pockets inside, look how cozy this looks. Like, oh, it's I'm the teddy bear queen. The pockets also have that slidey material inside and I have put my phone in this pocket and my phone's just slipped out. Thankfully, it was just in my car. So I probably wouldn't trust these pockets, but as fashion goes, and if you want to stay warm, this is definitely cozy. So yeah, check them out. But it definitely was an Instagram ad like moment. They just drew me in and I'm not sorry about it because it's really cute and I've worn it quite a lot. My final fashion favorite, I have something to admit i haven't worked out since like october 2021 it shows <laughs> but that's fine i had like a really fun winter of eating everything under the sun and lived my best life basically and i'm not sorry about it but i'm getting to the point now that spring is coming that i really want to start working out again especially as i also want to look my best especially as i got a convention this summer so i definitely want to look my best for that treat myself to some new workout clothes again instagram it was someone that i follow this time a fitness influencer and she wore this color I don't know if you guys know me, but lilac over the last two years has been one of my favourite colours to wear. I had to get these. These are Gymshark leggings. It's all I wear when I work out is Gymshark. I am one of those people. So yes, I bought the bottoms and I obviously bought the training like workout bra as well in the same colour. Like... <laughs> how cute how cute that's the set and that's normally where i'd kind of like stop there but i saw these and i fell in love now they look a bit crinkled but they're like shorts on the inside the same as the leggings but then they've got this kind of like floaty skirt that makes them look like a skirt, like a, a skirt short. Spring's coming, warmer weather's coming. I thought adorable. So yeah, quite the treat yourself, but I do find that buying workout gear, I've also got shoes that matches these already, so it's like perfect. But I do find that treating myself to a new set of workout clothes, a little workout outfit, does motivate me to get started again. And I think I'm gonna start doing 
doing YouTube workouts. There is someone that you guys recommended. What is her name? But I really want to start doing her workouts because they look great. There's, and she does one like every day. She's got like a whole program. And I'm just like, you know what? Yes, please. She is called Caroline Gervin. So check her out if you want to start a new program. But yeah, I'm going to start with the beginner week and then I'm going to go into one of her epic programs and try to do it. That's my plan. I would also maybe like to start running as well. I'm just like one of these people that I'm not very good at sticking to more than one thing. Like with running, I know that I can go like three times a week, job done. But if I want to also do strength, then I'm probably not going to do as much running because working out three times a week maybe four is probably my happy amount of working out so yeah i've just got to find that balance of maybe cardio and strength or maybe i do one week running and then one week strength and then alternate it i don't know i'm not uh, i'm not a fitness guru i never will be but hey it's the it's the thought that counts and the trying that's what i say what other favorites do i have so let's talk about i've got a tech favorite that's right i got a new computer i always thought that I would be the girl that just stays Windows forever. I loved my Windows computer. I was like, I need to have at least one because like, I know it, but no. I retired my Windows computer and I bought an iMac and I don't regret it. It looks really nice. I've got a new office now. I'll give you an office tour when it's finished. It's not going to be for a while, but I bought a new iMac and it's bliss. It definitely took me a little bit of getting used to because they definitely handle differently to Windows. But yeah, I've joined the Mac Club. What else have I been enjoying that I can't physically show you? I bought some bath bomb storage. You, If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know about this. But I bought some bath bomb storage. I bought this from HomeSense. It was £50. And I tell you what, it's perfect. In each little basket, I've got bath bombs. I've got one for bubble bars. I've got one for lotions. Like, it's just beautiful. It fits perfectly. And I guess my last favorites are actually TV and film. I've got four this month. The Harry Potter reunion. I know you guys have been waiting for me to talk about that. I watched it on the day and I, <laughs> I watched it on my own in the lounge and just bawled. Like I was just sobbing at the screen. I, I haven't watched it since. I need to watch it again. But oh my goodness. If you have not watched it yet, what are you doing? You can go watch it on Now TV. They are a previous sponsor, but that wasn't sponsored. But that is where you can watch it in the UK or on Sky, I believe. It was everything that I wanted it to be. I wish there was a few more people in it. I'd have loved to have seen like Maggie Smith and uh, Julie Walters. I'd have loved to have seen her in it as well. But yeah, I just thought it was so wholesome. It must have been so special for the cast to reunite. I can't even imagine it. But yes, that was incredible. Also, Encanto. We don't talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. Hey, here with my wit. Sorry. Um, yes, the whole world has been taken by storm. That's all I'm saying. Disney Plus. I just wanted to watch it because everyone was talking about it and then I watched it and realized why everyone was talking about it because it's beautiful and the songs are amazing. To the point that We Don't Talk About Bruno is number one like globally, it's ridiculous. So yeah, really enjoyed that. And the next two shows, one I've just finished, which is a woman, no, this, I'm, I'm gonna have to Google the title of this because it's so long. Now, this is meant to be a parody, but honestly, I quite enjoyed it as it was not knowing it was a parody, to be fair. Like it was obviously, it was obvious what they were playing at. <laughs> it's called The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in a Window. And it's a parody on like films like Gone Girl and like Girl on a Train and, and that kind of thing. But it was super, super good. The main cast is Kristen Bell, Michael Earley, Tom Riley, etc. But honestly, Kristen Bell is incredible. I binged it. It was a recommendation from my best friend. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I will give it a watch. It was really good. I'll tell you why I enjoyed it. It was enjoyable just for what it was, but you cannot predict the amount of plot twists that are in it. There's a plot twist like every 10 minutes. It's like, oh, 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 it's so good. I think there's going to be quite a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I really enjoyed watching it and I enjoy Kristen Bell, so there's that. The other show I'm actually still watching and it's called Inventing Anna. It's again 
on Netflix. Very, very good. Uh, let me read you the bio so that you know what it's about. Okay, so it says, Inventing Anna is an American drama streaming television miniseries. It's produced by Shonda Rhimes. It's probably why I like it. And it says that it's inspired by the New York Magazine article, How Anna Delvey Tricked New York's Party People by Jesse. So it's based on a true story, by the way. So it says, A journalist with a lot to prove investigates the case of Anna Delvey, the Instagram legendary German heiress who stole the hearts of New York's social scene and stole their money as well. <gasps> it's really good. I've nearly finished it, but I'm recommending it now because it's 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 great watching. What can I say? But yeah, so I think that is everything that are my favourites over the past few months. I would love to know what your favourites have been. What have you been enjoying watching? Is there anything that you've really enjoyed treating yourself to or certain things that are like fashion favourites or anything that's been like really useful like my sock organiser like I would love to know so leave a comment down below and if you got this far in the video thanks I appreciate you so much give this video a magical thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye mm. oh, we don't talk about Bruno no 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 oh, we don't talk